Sony, as is normally the case, has released a bunch of great looking TVs this year, and in this video, I'm gonna be comparing two of them for you, the X90L and the X93L, and talk to you about why you might wanna consider one over the other if you're in the market for a new TV. Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and with me here are the 65 inch versions of the X90L and the X93L. And the reason I've chosen these two is because of the first difference I wanna to touch on, the available screen sizes. This is the smallest screen size that they have in common. If you're looking for variety, the X90L offers 55, 65, 75, 85, and 98 inch options, while the X93L only comes in 65, 75, and 85 inch versions. So if you need a smaller screen or a really big one, you'll need to consider the X90L. The next difference is in the stands. The X90L offers two different configurations, low profile and soundbar, which raises it up to accommodate a soundbar in front. The X93L has three available configurations, low profile in a narrow and wide position, and soundbar, which is wide, but raises the TV up. This difference may not seem like too big of a deal, but if you need to buy a wider stand to accommodate the 90, you might be better off sticking with your narrower stand and spending a little more to get the 93. Now we've got the connections, and as far as that goes, you're not gonna see any differences there, but I will mention they each have four HDMIs with two of them being 2.1s that support all your next-gen gaming features. And each model has an antenna connection with an ATSC 3.0 tuner for getting over-the-air 4K broadcasts when they are available. Next up is the operating systems, and again, no differences here. They both use Google TV, which is simple to navigate and offers tons of content to watch. Moving on to some more differences, let's talk about the audio. The 90 has 30 total watts of power, driving two channels that consist of two full-range drivers and two tweeters. The 93 has 60 total watts of power, two mid-range drivers, two tweeters, and two subwoofers. The 90 still sounds okay, but if you don't plan on using an external sound system of some kind, whether that's a soundbar or a surround setup, you'll definitely appreciate the audio on the 93 more. And now we get to the big one, the picture. And that's really why you're looking at these two models. They each have amazing pictures, but clearly one is more amazing, and that's the 93. For the purposes of this video, I have them both set to the factory cinema mode with power saving features turned off. Now these both use Sony's Cognitive Processor XR, but while the 90 has direct full array LED lighting, the 93 uses direct full array mini LEDs, which creates more dimming zones to give you a more accurate picture. Black levels are deeper, light bloom is less noticeable, and it's an overall brighter picture. In addition, the 93 has features like auto white balance, X wide angle to improve viewing angles, and X anti-reflection to cut down on glare. So if it's going into a room that is more likely to get direct light in the screen, you'll wanna strongly consider that 93. Now, with all that said, the 90 definitely holds its own, and it's highly unlikely you'd regret adding it to your home theater, but when you put them side by side, the 93 is noticeably better. It may not come across that way so much on the screen, but if you look at these two in person, you can definitely tell. Like I said at the start, these are both fantastic TVs that offer tons of great features, so no matter which one you end up with, you'll be happy. If you're working within a tighter budget, you need something bigger or smaller, or you're just a casual viewer looking for a really nice picture, the 90 is going to be a terrific way to go. But if you're looking for a TV to put in a really bright room, or a room that has seating maybe further off to the sides, or you just wanna take that next step in picture quality, you definitely can't go wrong with the 93. And if you wanna learn more about either model, you can check out our full video overviews of each of those. Both of these models are available here at Apt, so if you're looking to order one, be sure to check them out on Apt.com at the links down below in the description, or give our experts a call to hear about any promotional pricing we can't advertise online. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.